I'm Jo Poulton, I'm Professor of Mitochondrial Genetics in Oxford, so that means I have a research group um, and I run a clinical service where we do mitochondrial diagnostics and then we try to manage um, patients with mitochondrial disease and help them through the genetic issues and also try to um, ameliorate some of the symptoms. Well, diagnosing mitochondrial disease has really improved enormously over the recent years. I and mean, when we first started, we diagnosed oh, a tiny percentage of patients. And then gradually, as time has gone on, we've identified, you know, like for instance, patients with Leber's hereditary optic neuropathy. We're much better at diagnosing that. The muscle diseases, there are certain ones where we really can um, nail them, quite, 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 quite a lot of them. Um, but still, we have a really very substantial group where we don't have an answer, and yet they've clearly got mitochondrial disease. So technology in the last few years has improved so much that we can do what's called next generation sequencing where we sequence every gene in the body and um, there are various different ways of doing this but it's in theory at least you should end up by having the information you have all the genes sequenced these are genetic diseases I do feel optimistic that we will be uh, moving towards actually uh, getting diagnoses. Now the question is you've got a diagnosis, how does it help you? Well, it helps you because of genetics and understanding whether there's going to be a recurrence in your family. If parents have another child with the same, the same you know, you know, are they going to, is there a one in four recurrence risk? Uh, is it mitochondrial DNA? Is it going to be uh, very much hit and miss? Uh, so I, mean, I think that, uh, that it, it, it's, it's good news for understanding the diseases um, and hopefully in the future it'll be, it'll be helpful in treating as well. Of course, what we're hoping is that we will find drugs that help mitochondrial disease, and everybody everywhere is trying to is thinking about that. What we're doing in our lab is we're doing a studies of what's called mitophagy. So, for mitochondrial DNA disease, we know that um, you often have heteroplasmy, so normal mitochondrial DNA, damaged mitochondrial DNA, and as the patient gets worse, very often what's happening is that the amount of damaged mitochondrial DNA is accumulating. Now the cell has its own system for monitoring how much mitochondrial damage there is and trying to pick out the damaged mitochondria and turn them over. It's something called mitophagy. And we think that mitophagy could control mitochondrial DNA accumulation or the progression of mitochondrial DNA diseases where there is heteroplasmy. And so we're looking at drugs that are able to modulate mitophagy. This is one of our exciting things that we're doing at the moment. 